Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how to remotely access our Chasm workspaces using Cloudflare tunnels. But before we get into all of that, we've got some bills to pay. So here's a quick message from today's video sponsor. So we all know that finding a well-paying job can be difficult. And luckily there are platforms out there to help simplify that process. And luckily for us, one of those platforms is sponsoring today's video. Careerist.com is an online learning platform. And even if you don't have a technical background or technical training, Careerist will help teach you everything you need to know to land a high paying job in one of the happiest professions in the US right now, which is software testing, also known as quality assurance or QA. Careerist graduates are already working in more than a thousand companies in 40 different states. Of these different jobs, more than 30% of them are remote and salaries for Careerist graduates ranges between $65,000 and $100,000 a year. With Careerist, you'll attend live classes and those classes will be available as video on demand in case you missed something and you wanna go back and look at it later. Don't miss out on the opportunity to start earning more money in just a few months time. Be sure to follow the link in the description to get a 10% discount on the course of your choice. And a big thank you to careerist.com for sponsoring today's video. So this should be a fairly quick, short video uh, where we're going to configure a Cloudflare tunnel and then get it pointed to our Chasm workspaces. So there are a couple of prerequisites to this video. Uh, the first one being that you've bought a domain name and uh, the second being that you have pointed that domain name to Cloudflare. If you're not sure how to do those things, I have made a video about that, that, that whole process going from the actual purchase of a domain name all the way through to a remote access uh, via Cloudflare tunnels on, on a different setup. But the, the process is is still the same as far as buying the domain and pointing the DNS, that sort of thing. So with that said, let's jump over to my desktop and take a look at the Chasm Workspaces uh, installation that I set up in the second video of this series. Uh, really, there's only a couple of things that we need to take from this. The first being that we are using HTTPS, we're using an SSL that you can see up in the URL bar. And then the second thing that we need to know there is the IP address of our Chasm instance. And here we can see that's 192.168.0.237. Yours will probably be different, but that's what mine is. So that's what I'm going to use for the sake of this video. So I guess our first step is to actually head over to our Cloudflare account, make sure we're logged in and then click on the domain name that we'd like to use for our Cloudflare tunnel. So I'm going to click on dbtech.dev. And so once we're uh, in the dashboard for that domain name, what we want to do is actually come over here and click on access and then we can click on uh, launch zero trust right here. Your uh, menu in the sidebar there may look a little bit different. I was, I had to take a double look at that, but uh, you may have direct access to a Cloudflare tunnel or a zero trust link down there as well. So there's a couple of different ways you might get to our, our zero trust dashboard, but this is eventually where we wanna be to move on to our next steps. So what I wanna do is come over here and, say, and click where it says access. And then I wanna come down to the bottom and click on tunnels. Now here you can see that I've got a tunnel set up for, uh, for a Casa OS video that I did recently. Um, we're going to actually create a new tunnel for, for our new setup here. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is come over here where it says uh, create tunnel. And then I'm going to give this tunnel a name. I'm gonna call this chasm tutorial if my fingers would work. So we've given our tunnel a name, we're gonna click save. So our next step will actually be to uh, install the agent that we need in our Chasm workspaces. So what we wanna do, uh, if you followed along with that first video, I, I used Ubuntu uh, for my setup there. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on Debian. And then right here is, is the command we're gonna run. Uh, and it's really, it's really just that simple. So I'm just gonna copy that and then I'm going to open a terminal window. So with the terminal window open, you can see that I've entered SSH, my username at my IP address, and I'll hit enter. And then I'll go ahead and enter my password. So here we are, we are logged in. It actually says that there are some updates that I could apply. We're not gonna do that right now as it's not part of what we're doing for this video, but you should probably update your server if it says that there are updates available. So what I wanna do is do um, control L to clear my screen. And then I want to run the command, uh, all of these commands that it gave over on that Cloudflare tunnels uh, installation window. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter and I'm just gonna let it do its thing here. Of course, now it wants my, my, uh, my, my root password. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter that again. And just like that, we are now up and running. So let's jump back over to our Cloudflare tunnel uh, installation screen and make sure that our connector has actually done what it's supposed to do. 
So here we are on our Cloudflare tunnel window. And uh, right down here at the bottom, we can see, I'm gonna scroll down just a little bit. Right here, we can see our connector ID, our status, our, our data centers that we're connected to, uh, our origin IP, of course, I'm gonna have to block that, and what version we are currently on uh, for as far as the agent is concerned, the one that we just installed with those commands. So now that we can see all of this is good to go, what we can do is click next. And then we're going to uh, set up um, our, our subdomain and our domain for this. Um, so basically, I'm just gonna call this chasm. And then for my domain, I'm going to select the domain that we wanted to use here, in this case, dbtech.dev. And then we don't need to put in a path or anything. I know that there was a path added um, up here uh, at the top, but that's not what we're gonna use. So we're gonna scroll down just a little bit and we're gonna come down to the service type. Right here, uh, we're going to select HTTPS. If you've watched my other tunnel videos, uh, you'll know that very often I, I say we, we're gonna use HTTP. Um, but in this case, because Chasm has an SSL built into it, we're going to select the HTTPS service type there. So our next step will be to actually put in the IP address of our server, like so. So there's one more step that we need to do on this screen before we move on to the next steps. And that is down here where it says additional application settings. We're gonna click that. And then we're gonna scroll down a little bit and right here where it says TLS. We're going to uh, disable, um, or we're going to enable rather the no TLS verify. Um, and then the HTTP2 connection, I would absolutely enable that as well. Once we're good with all of these settings, we should then be able to click on save. And right there is our Chasm tutorial uh, tunnel that's set up and ready to go. So what I wanna do is click on configure and go to public host name and click the link right there. And just like that, now if we take a look at that URL bar, we can see that we are on chasm.dbtech.dev with an SSL. And just to make sure that everything is working the way we want it to, what we're gonna do is get logged in. So here we are, we are logged into our dashboard on that domain of chasm.dbtech.dev. Uh, everything seems to be working just fine. So let's jump over to workspaces. And then just for the heck of it, let's open Firefox. Uh, we're gonna say uh, in a new tab, you know what, we're gonna say in a current tab, doesn't matter. We're gonna go ahead, oops, that was weird. Let's come back over to here and click resume. Sometimes stuff happens and you just gotta roll with the punches. So here we are, we are in um, in our, our Firefox uh, container here, our workspace rather. Uh, and if I go, and, oops, I'm gonna say that's fine. We're gonna allow that. Let's just go to YouTube. Um, and then let's just make sure that this is still working. DB Tech, YT dot, oops, YT like that. What am I doing here? And here we go. There is my YouTube channel up and working. Again, we're on that, that chasm.dbtech.dev URL using Cloudflare tunnels on Chasm workspaces. So guys, that's all there is to getting Cloudflare tunnels set up and configured to work with Chasm workspaces. There were the, the additional steps there in the TLS verification section of turning off TLS verification. Uh, otherwise, you'll run into some, some SSL issues when you try to go to that URL. So that's why we ticked those boxes. Uh, and then of course, we wanted, we wanted the extra security with the HTTP2 option in there. But again, that's all there is to getting this set up so that you can then uh, remote into your server uh, from, from a URL, from where Wherever you are. Uh, I absolutely love using uh, both Chasm workspaces and Cloudflare tunnels, and now we've put them together. So I've already got plans to talk about some different stuff in Chasm uh, coming up in, in future videos, uh, like persistent storage and changing uh, session lifetimes and all kinds of stuff. It's all, it's all coming in upcoming videos. So if you're interested in learning more about Chasm workspaces, don't forget to get subscribed down below. If you've got questions or comments or anything, definitely leave those in the comment section down below as well. And uh, all the resources that I can think of that you might need uh, to, to go through this process will also be down in the description, including links to those previous videos that I'd mentioned before. But with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. I do wanna thank you guys for spending a few minutes of your day with me today, and I'll talk to you in the next video.